Okay, question 15. Find the type of quadrilateral PQRS. So there are the points PQRS. Uh, here's a little sketch that I've drawn over here. Looks like a rectangle, but I gotta prove it. You can't just say it looks like a rectangle. You might get one mark out of five, but or maybe even one mark out of six. It's not a very good mark. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at, well, look at P and Q, and then I'll look at Q and R, and then I'll look at R and S, and then I'll look at S back to P, and I'm gonna find all of the distances and all of the slopes. And I probably just scribbled those lines down too far, but anyways. So the distance here, the distance is going to be equal to, so run squared plus rise squared, so I'm gonna do negative two, sorry, minus, yeah, x2 minus x1. So negative two minus six, that squared, plus negative one minus five, that's gonna get squared. Okay, so there's my first distance equation. Second distance equation is gonna be six minus three squared, plus five minus nine squared, Next distance equation is going to be three minus minus five squared plus nine minus three squared. Next distance equation is negative five minus minus two squared and three minus minus one squared. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I calculate all of these. So I get negative 8 squared plus negative 6 squared. Now why am I doing this? Because I want these little things in here. This is my x minus x, minus, this is my y minus y. So this is my run and this is my rise. Once I've got these things, it makes it really easy to get slope. So in here, I get 3 squared and negative 4 squared, and here I get 8 squared and 6 squared, and here I get negative 3 squared and 4 squared. Okay, so almost there. Distances are, so 8 squared plus 6 squared yeah, I just didn't use the negatives because they're going to get squared away anyways. So it went to root 100, which is equal to 10. Uh, next one. Uh, 3 squared plus 4 squared is going to go to root 25. I might as well write out that this way. Okay, so that's root 100. And then I'll show after that 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 is equal to 10. So root 25 is equal to 5. This again is root 100, which is equal to 10. This again is root 25, which is equal to 5. Okay, so there's our distances. First job done. Now, what can I see already? Well, all four of them are not the same. Opposites are the same. So 10 is opposite to 10, 5 is opposite to 5. So it looks pretty good to be a rectangle, but I don't know yet. First off, I have to look at all my slopes. Now remember, slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and I've already calculated that in my distance equation. This is my x2 minus x1, this is my y2 minus y1. So I just take that negative six and put it over the negative eight and I've got my slope. Now I reduce my slopes though, so this goes to three over four. Slope here is negative four over three, that's my y rise over run. Slope here is six over eight, which also reduces to three over four. And slope here is four over negative three, and I don't like negatives in the bottom, so I'm just gonna move it up to the top. Okay, good, so my opposite sides are parallel. Opposite sides are parallel, same slope, so at least it is a parallelogram. And what else you notice here is that the adjacent sides are negative reciprocals, which means perpendicular. So yes, therefore, PQRS is a rectangle. Now, why though? Two different things because opposite sides are same length, I guess you could say and slope,
and slopes are negative reciprocals, which means perpendicular. So when you discuss whether it's a rectangle or a rhombus or a square or a kite or a parallelogram, discuss the opposite sides and their length. So opposite sides are the same length. They're not all the same length. If they were all the same length, this would have been a square. So opposite sides are the same length and slopes are negative reciprocals.